All right, hello, my name is Alex. Um, I, I wanted to make a quick video on how easy it is to host a website using Fleek um, and your Handshake top level domain. Fleek came out with a great hosting service like to be able to host a site on the open web um, that makes it incredibly easy and an integrated handshake. Um, and the whole process was super simple that I, it just had, I had to make a little video to showcase it so that other people could start using it and experimenting it with it and, uh, you know, getting some more value out of their top level domains. Um, so this takes into, uh, there's, there's a couple things that are, um, kind of assumed one that you already signed up to make a fleet. Account. I'm not going to go through the idea of, um, signing up and, you know, registering your account like getting to the login page like I'm, that I'm already here. Um, it also assumes that you have a top level domain with Handshake um, and that uh, really that, those are the only two things that you really need to have right now. Um, so I'm gonna go through and just, you know, make one and add it to here in Namebase, I have a top level domain, Crypto Rich. I'm gonna add it to that just for fun. Um, so right from the beginning, like when you have when you, uh, you get to the main page, uh, you have a easy button, add new site. So let's click on it. Let's just walk through it like it was the first time. So here it's saying to create a site. These are the steps that you're going to go through. You're going to connect to GitHub, pick a repository, uh, deploy a location, and then there's some build options and you'll deploy it. And then we will add our domain, our handshake top level domain, so that when we search for it, crypto rich, it's going to take us to the site. So I'll uh, click on connect with GitHub. It's going to pull up my account and it'll give me some of my repositories. Uh, the one that I'm going to use here is a really simple one, uh, Color Switcher. This was one that I made like one of my first projects as I was learning React. Um, but it's a good example. It, it doesn't have a lot of stuff, but it, it just will show the process of making one. So this is a simple um, React create React app. I use the NPX create React app. Um, and made a simple interface with some buttons and it changes the UI. Uh, here, uh, continuous deployment hosting platform. Uh, I leave it at IPFS. It has another option for internet computer testnet, but this is an experimental thing. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. So I just clicked IPFS, um, which I'm already, already know a little bit about on um, storing files. So I'm gonna use that, hit continue. And here's a really cool thing here. So one of the things that it'll do is it gives us basic build settings, you know, of what we need to do. And I know that I made it using create react app. Like that was already, you see, look, it already filled in the build commands and to publish a certain directory afterwards. Other than me selecting create react app, if I had another one, if I made the site in Gatsby, I would choose Gatsby and it would give me those same options, you know, and it's awesome. Look, it has all of these options already ready for you. Like super cool. But again, I already did create React app. That's what I made it on. So that's what I'm gonna use. And uh, everything else looks good. So I'm gonna click uh, deploy site and we'll let it load. And you can see here it's it's starting to deploy and it's gonna go through a log. And uh, I'm just going to uh, wait for it to finish. And it will give me an update here saying site deployed in progress. It'll say like completed or deployed. And uh, I think it'll even give me a site to go to that I can then check it out. But I'm not interested in using their generated site. Um, I wanna host on using my domain, my top level domain of Crypto Rich. And it's gonna, uh, and that's where it's going to appear. So this doesn't take long. Um, like I can talk through this, it's that short. Uh, it's going to, you know, finish building it right now. And uh, it should give me an update in just a second. Uh, within the same page, you can see that there's some options here like for settings. This is where we're going to be um, adding our Handshake top level domain. Um, and there's an overview page here. So it's saying like it's deploying right now and then uh, you can use um, olddomains.coms.edu's, but we want the, the, new, the new new top level domain. Um, so, but it gives you some information, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm still very much learning about this stuff. Like, I don't, I don't need to know what this stuff is. You know, I, I think that, you know, for the sake of purposes of this uh, video, 
you just need to know how to deploy it and get it get it going um, there you go it's still still in progress and I'm gonna get here to my handshake but we'll let it we'll let it finish it really doesn't take long um, you know at most it'll take a minute so I'll pause Boom! Didn't even need to pause. Look at that. Uh, so it already has one done. This is the site that I could go to and check out the site. But again, I'm not interested in that. I want Handshake. So I'm going to go down to HNS, add your Handshake domain to a fleek site. I'm going to click Add HNS. And I'm going to type in my top level domain, Crypto Rich. Click on Verify. And it says it already has an owner. I'm the owner. So I'm going to say yes. Go and add that domain. I want to use that. Now, if I come down here, you're going to see it says it, it doesn't look like it's configured yet. Um, so I want to check the handshake configuration. And it gives me two options. One to manually go in there and change uh, an A record and adding in this information. Or I can just click use name base. I'm going to click use name base because that's the easiest way. And that's what I use to get it. So it redirects me over to Namebase, and it's gonna bring me right to the site, and it's gonna fill in that stuff for me. Look what Fleek are, did all that for you to make that as easy as possible with the help of how easy it is to work off of Namebase. So I'll click on Confirm. It says, I'm all set. It's gonna redirect me back. Let me just let it go through. I'm gonna return to Fleek. Let's see what it does. So it's, it's doing some magic. There you go, okay. So at this point, I should be good. Um, let's see, I can do verify. And there we go. Look at that. That tells me that I'm, I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to be using to verify this is a really cool browser um, with, uh, that I was introduced to um, from Stephen McKee. Uh, called Handy Browser, super cool. Uh, lets me uh, I'll open up a second one here. It lets me um, check and like go directly to top level domains, just typing in the name. So I had mine was Crypto Rich, like that. Launch it, and there we go. Look at that. Takes me right to it. And my and this site, all it was was I could click a button, it'll change. You know to the different ones very simple site but you see how easy it is to go from I have a handshake top-level domain I created an account on fleek hosted it verified it and linked it to my handshake top-level domain and now it's live I, I challenge anybody that's watching this right now is instead of taking your top-level domains and just trying to flip them and just using them as ideas make something for it you instantly create more value for it and it makes it more likely to be able to sell and uh, and and it gives you some practice on how to do this so um, that's my video I, I really hope that you liked it um, if uh, you have any questions about the process or you get stuck on there reach out to me I'm on Twitter at the Vela Bros um, and you know I also have my site too, handshakesocks.com um, check it out if you like handshake uh, but I'm here for you again my name's Alex Great to see you.